All right, everybody, welcome on in. Welcome to mine and Melly's tearless stream. Say hello, Hi. Melly. All right, so today you we'll give each everybody just a little bit more time to come on in. But today we are doing our first tier list. Yee. This one was actually Melly's suggestion. Yeah, let's go. So we got the tier list right here. We will be sorting everybody into their proper category as we believe they where they fit. Although I do, I'm gonna yeah. make one little change because I'm gonna because I feel like Ranger does need to be in the green. But and of course, as we are going to go through this, we are going to be dropping the timestamps on wherever. Whenever we actually do make the judgments and make comments, we're going to try to go a little bit more in depth since we don't have a ton. We got a nice, nice number, about 24. So before we really begin, Melly, is there anything you would like to discuss? Um. And... Welcome to the Legion. Welcome on in, JLaw VT. Welcome to the Legion. Thank you so much for the follow. We are so excited to have you here. What's up? <laughs> All right. So, did you have anything you want to say, Melly? Uh, just that uh, you guys are the coolest in the whole world. So let's go. Yeah, to capitalize on that, I am so happy I well, am now affiliated. So again, and that's all thanks to you guys in this wonderful community. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So now there are channel points being accrued. So you can basically do whatever. I'm not going to say do whatever you want to me. But you can <laughs> recommend some fun little challenges for me to do while doing stream. Whether that be stretching, drinking water, speaking Japanese, doing vocal practice, whatever. It is completely up to you as long as you got the channel points to pay for it. Babe, we gotta get the thing where uh, we, we're like, we can throw stuff at you. <laughs> well, that's gonna be better once we actually have like a live 2D version uh, for a PNG tubing. It's not Rude. really the greatest because this one doesn't really respond well. It's just gonna be like thrown at it. It's not gonna go prone. It's not gonna be get knocked over. That That's kind of the oh, main thing. Oh man. But that is something to look forward to when we debut. Definitely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I think we've waited about, what, five, ten minutes? Well, actually, let's just wait a couple more minutes. Yeah, we can wait a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Mm. So I'm assuming actually most of them are going to watch this on the VOD so they can actually find exactly where they would go. Probably. That's okay. Yep, it's okay. Oh man, that chili though, man, it's doing really a number on me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's just making me burpy a lot. Oh yikes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Alright, so shall we begin? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so first one on the list is actually gonna be Sir Grimly. All right, so what is your immediate first impressions, Melly? Where where are you well, thinking of putting them? Okay, okay, so I really, really, really like the cherry blossoms. <laughs> like, those are my favorite flowers. And, oh goodness, and the bow. I think the bow, I can definitely see... I can definitely see Yumi as a, uh, maybe a ranger? Yeah, I'm thinking ranger too, and it's not just because the bow, but because I think it's the whole shrine maiden aspect that uh, Yumi, the character the OC is going for, because in that way it's like Hunter's Mark could be, could, they could add their own flair to it where it almost looks like a cherry blossom with it. So they can do a little bit of magic, but yeah, their main principle is, is the bow and arrow. So that's where I think them being a ranger, I think fits the best. Yeah. But yes, I do love the design. I absolutely love the kimono. And again, the, it's the whole almost shrine colors maiden aesthetic. Colors are so pretty. Yes. The colors are so dang pretty. Yes, it is. All right, so 
Sir Grimley goes into the ranger slot. Ranger! R -r 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 ranger! Oh, I forgot to do, forgot to do time cut on that one, so I'm going to kind of uh, guesstimate it around the eight minute mark. So I'm going to do zero, zero, eight. Okay. So now the next one we are moving on to is the Royal. Yep, Royal Kato. So Ooh. let me just go ahead and drop the time code for this one. So nine, uh, 50. Okay, so first off with her, Again, I do Whoa. love the ball gown. I love the crown. And actually, this is where the glasses really do add more to the look. They do. Oh, wow. I... Hmm. I really like the flowers. And is that a... What kind of animal is she? Is she like a, a uh, wolf? Or a, a cat? Well, let's go look at the profile real quick quick let's see here oh okay i think she's a cat a uh, wolf she's a wolf thief oh okay. he's a wolf oh uh, oh wait wait, wait png tuber oh never mind png tubers bye bye boy oh. Wolf thief. oh okay because i was gonna say i was gonna say uh oh man what's their name uh the the one thief class. <laughs> you still can't remember it? Oh, Danryu, welcome <laughs> on in. Danryu's. Hi. Welcome on in, Danny. Happy to see you here. Oh man, no, but uh, we we go back to the picture. Okay, here's the bigger picture. Yeah. Oh goodness, like the crown. I think she. I think she'd be a good. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe... Well, she doesn't really have a weapon. Does have a weapon. So, actually, I'm... One part of me is thinking, like, sorcerer, wizard, some type of spellcaster. Yeah, I can definitely see that, too. Here, let me see. A cleric. Oh, yeah! Uh, that's what Danny's saying, is maybe cleric. Uh... I was actually thinking maybe a druid too, because like of the uh, animal features, and then also the flowers. You say the flowers, yes, but hmm. Oh. Don't know. I'm personally leaning more towards like a sorceress. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see sorceress. Just because in that way it goes with the whole high nobility bloodline. Because she could yeah. be like a cat princess and it was because of this she was able to, again, she grew and her magic affinity comes through her bloodline because that's what mostly sorcerers is. And same with royalty. So that that's my thinking on it. True. But, okay, so I'm going to move them over into sorcerer. Sorcerer. And it also matches up with the blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so next one is Pro Zero. So let me just go ahead and get the time code. Pro Zero. Uh, let's do that. 1305. I think it's nice lead in. Okay, so let's take a big old look at it. Ooh, wow. I believe, yep, they are a robot. So kind of almost an automaton. <laughs> All right, Danny, I'm stretching. I'm stretching, okay? Danny, redeem the stretch. Uh, mostly for me, but everybody, go ahead. Join in on the stretch. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yep, I felt something pop. So that's a good thing. Good job. Yep. Thank you, Danny, for redeeming that. 
Okay, so they are a robot. So let's see what else we can uncover. I want to put them in artificer, but we don't. Nope, not artificer, but definitely a, an automaton. That would be kind of more of a race. Artifi yeah, artificer Ooh. would. You know, we can throw in artificer. Because <laughs> I think they'd be a great artificer. Yeah, I feel like that fits them better. Whoops, nope. Barbarian stays red. But yeah, part of it is because, yes, the whole, yeah, robot thing. But then that way they can, they are still tinkering, they're still messing with it, and they can, they can make their own cannons. Yeah. And they look a little bit magical too, so I think it'd be a really good fit. I would agree. Yes, they look very magical. It's uh, it kind of reminds me of, like some of those other animes where they can like drop their arm, like they bend their arm and turn their elbows like the cannon. <laughs> oh yeah. That that's what came to my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, artificer definitely I think would fit there. Okay. So next would be Rebecca. And let me get the time code. Fifteen. 32. Okay. Can you hear me crunching? Uh, no, I cannot actually, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's look at the profile, see what we can find. Hmm. Ah, uh, wait. This, what was the picture? Uh, the picture was of this. Oh, okay. So she's got a pusheen cat. Got a pusheen cat. Eating some ramen. <laughs> Correct. Maybe. I don't know. She's kind of giving me bard vibes. I was actually leaning more towards like a, a food cleric, where they heal. Really? Yeah, like they heal based on the food they make. Oh, I like that. And <laughs> Pushing could be the deity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. That's just one thing is just because, again, the Pushing cat, and then when you look at their profile, you just see all these sweets. Oh, true, true, true. So not only really yeah, are they like a sweet soul, so to speak, but I could just see them really like hunkering down and really going, okay, you're going to heal by me stuffing food in your face kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see it. So that's what I'm thinking. It's really cute. I like it the is. smile. Me too. It's adorable. All right. So got a cleric. All right. So now the next one. As you say. Ooh. Uh, let me wait. Need to do. It's actually, the bunny. Is the bunny? Let me do time code. Seventeen. I keep on hitting L. Like the two keys are next to each other. Oh. Is that the number L? All right. So, what are you thinking, Melly? Hmm, let's see, funny girl with a monocle, super pretty. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely seeing like more me... of an aristocrat kind of vibe. Yeah, she gives me the magical vibes. Like the colors in the, I think those are like, like stars almost, or like sparkles. Yeah, yeah. All right, should we go check out yeah, the profile? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Corey. Welcome on in. Hi, y'all. Uh, Danny. <laughs> I'll Danny. Bunny Bard. Bunny bard. Uh, I I'm leaning a little bit more towards like a bard, but let's. I'm just hmm. curious. What? Let's see what their profile is. De okay, you know what? A bard artist. Oh. 
They could do okay, their yeah. magic through like uh oh, they do like their magic <laughs> through their art, like uh very much like kinda of Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, so to speak. Oh yeah. Where like she can draw to like trap things but also draw to create things to come to life. Oh, that would be so cool. So very much like a art arty bard. <laughs> No, yeah, I was gonna say the sleeves and the. I think that is that pants or a skirt. Uh, this is a skirt. Like the, I think it's the frills at the end. It kind of reminds me of those, like the bard pants, <laughs> kind of like the pants that Venti has. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see what she's saying. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely like an artistic bard. Yeah. Okay. Move them up to the bard. Yay! Okay, next is actually an interesting <laughs> one. It's actually a brother-sister combo. Oh, Kind of like, uh, like, Vex and Vax? A little bit, but let me go ahead and put in the time code. 2015. I was like, is that their name? Uh, Vex, Vex and Vex, Vex yeah, Vex Vax? and Vax. Vaxalia yeah. and Vexeldon. Yeah. Wait, wait. Vexalia Vaxildon from, from Critical Role. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, I love, I love, like, whenever I see these guys on Twitter, I'm like, that's so cool. Like, I love their design. I love the yin and yang. Yes, so that's why for me, my instant gut feeling is Muck. Ooh, oh, yeah. Like, Both I am... Stuff? Yeah, both of them. I'm seeing like a brother, sister, and monk team. Ooh, where yeah. they fight back to back kind of thing. Oh yeah, I can definitely see it. Because with the monks, it's all about kind of their monastery. Where they, again, where they train and all that fun stuff. So I can see these two really just like being those monk, again, monk brother and sister that can fight back to back. No, that's perfect because... Because they also, like, don't they also harness the magical energy, like, the key energy? Um, so I think that's perfect. <laughs> uh, Danny's saying, brother, be sorcerer, sister, be warlock, because opposites. Huh. But personally, oh. again. I can see that. I can see yin it. And yang. I can see the yin and yang. But monk, because of yin and yang. Yeah. <laughs> Because one of them could harness more of an offensive style, whereas the other one can harness more of a defensive style. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. So. I think that fits. I think that fits very well. So, we are moving them into the monk category. And so far, we at least have one in each category yeah. so far. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I wonder if we can get one in every single category. <laughs> That'd be really that'd be cool. cool. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. So now, moving on to this one. Let me put in the time code. 22, uh, 39. Okay, so Ooh. what is your first instinct? Mine? Hmm. Let me see. Oh yeah, I like. It's almost like uh, like a. I see the snake kind of, but then mm -hmm. like also a mix. Or he's like a some sort of a reptile, and then I can almost see like octopus or squid, and a mix of like maybe a spider it's, or like some sort of insect. It's very eldritch horror. Yeah. It's cool. It's really cool. <laughs> I really do like the design. I do, especially like the red veins going throughout it. So Ooh, yeah. this is where I'm torn between either a sorcerer or a warlock. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see like the magical side. Hmm. I'm slightly leaning more towards a warlock. Because yeah. of the Eldritch entities and Eldritch oh, powers yeah. at work. No, definitely. 
But I feel like that's sometimes too on the nose. Well, we could always <laughs> try going to his profile. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like I say, we're probably going to stick with Warlock just because I feel like that, that is perfectly on the nose. Okay. But yeah, Cosmic Horror turned VTuber. Yep, okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You as Warlock yeah. de, de Warlock. Del Balrog. The the wake the what the wakeful chaos. Uh, let's see here. Cosmic horror turned VTuber. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so let's move them into the warlock category. Yep, see, we've got one for everybody, so well, almost everybody. Almost. We still need a barbarian, druid, fighter, paladin, rogue, and wizard. Yep. Okay. This one, Corey, which I believe Corey is in. Yep, Corey, you are in here. Welcome. I'm still going to timestamp it for you in case you want to show friends. Aww. Is that a... Is she a bunny VTuber? Uh, I... Yep, yeah, let's go to profile. I'm thinking a... Yep, sheep. Oh, sheep VTuber? Yep, she's a sheep. Oh, that's so cute. It is adorable. I love it. Yeah, I think it's sheep just because of the wool... Wool, wool thing right here. The wool... Bed? Okay. Blink, okay. I'm I'm getting druid vibes. Same druid, like yeah. I believe there's even the circle of like like the sheep or the herd. I can't remember, but there is a druid circle specifically for like shepherds and everything. Serious? So, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me double check one of my books. Ooh, no, that's perfect then. I think it might be in Tasha's. Tasha's Cauldron. Hmm. Yeah, Artificial Sir Barbarian. Druid. Druid Circles. Circle of Spores. Circle of Stars. Circle of Wildfire. Okay, it's not in Tasha, so it's gotta be in Mordecai's. Hmm. But yeah, definitely Druid. It's like, not Mordecai's, Xanthar. <laughs> yeah, definitely Druid. We're, we're landing on Druid. Yee. Oh, it is. The bows are so cute. I just love the color scheme, like the white and yeah. the blue. It just, it really pops. It's just so stinking cute. And the eyes are so cool. I've never seen like silver eyes or like white eyes like that before. It's so cool. Yep, it is called Circle of the Shepherd. Hmm. That's perfect. Yep, perfect. So, yep, Druid it is. All right. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next one. Kasakabe. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and throw in the time code here. Oh, let me actually click on the image. That way I don't have to do the scroll number like I just did. Kasakabe. And it's 2818. Paladin. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, I can see Paladin. I can also see Fighter. I can also see Cleric. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because all those are armor-based. Yeah. I saw... I kind of thought of Cleric first. But then I thought of... Yeah. I don't know. I think Fighter... You hmm. know what? Gonna look on their profile. I think that might help narrow it down just a little bit to get a vibe. Okay. Wait, what does the profile say? Uh, okay, there's that picture. Okay, very interesting. I okay, think. so that's without armor. 
Earth online player logging into your world to share likes and experiences with you. Huh. Hmm. So let's look at this. Fighter. <laughs> yeah, Guess I'm leaving. I'm leaning a little bit more... Uh, actually, again, Paladin as well. But I'm leaning definitely more oh, towards yeah. a fighter kind of vibe. Yeah. Because that's more on... Eh, just hand me any weapon. I'll do what I can with. Yeah. She seems like she... Or they seem like they can handle, like... Any weapon. Yep, hand him a spear, hand him a sword, hand him whatever. I feel like they can handle it. Even a scythe. Just got even the... their own fists. Like, with the fighter, they kind of got their own swag and confidence to them. So, yeah. like, and I'm just getting that from this picture. They can still wear yeah. armor. They can still do all the stuff associated with it. But I am definitely leaning more towards a fighter. Yep, yep. All right. Moving up towards fighter. Okay. Next one. It might be a little interesting. Okay, I think we got. Okay, I think I have it a little bit out of order on the tier list, but we'll just keep going on with Twitter. Oh yeah, that's okay. So it happens. J Law Eldridge, guard dog. Oh. So. Oh. So hmm. So probably. Uh... One sec. Let me put oh. in the time code. Okay. Wow, though. Like, I do love the art. The art looks fantastic. Like, I love the color yeah. scheme. I love the red and the purple. No, all of these colors, like, you guys, you guys know what's, like, you guys know. You just know. You know the colors. You guys know what makes yours pop. But I think that's actually one of the cool things with VTubers, is since we're all, like, very invested in our, again, in our VTuber, we really have a pretty good say on, and a more interest into what color schemes will work and what won't work. Oh, absolutely. All right. I've always been a fan of that like red and blue or like purple color mix. Yeah, me too. Reminds me of kind of, reminds me of like the Spider-Verse colors a little bit. Oh yeah, and then the Upside Down City, absolutely. Oh yeah. But yeah, uh, this one Even also Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, the upside down, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna have to say we have another warlock. Yep. <laughs> that's what I was gonna that's what I was thinking. Yep, because the fact they even say Eldritch Guard Dog, so that their sugar daddy is an Eldritch horror. <laughs> Alright, let's move you to we have a second warlock. All right. The okay. army is building. Yep, the army is ever growing. All right, next is Fee Fay Wild. So let me put Ooh. the time code. Six. Mm. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Oh goodness! I, oh man, I want to say I want to say druid because of the horns. Uh, that's that's more going to getting into race stuff, not exactly class. Oh, true. Hmm. If it was antlers, I would say yes, but no, the horns because horns are could just be a oh, designation yeah. of tiefling or because again, that's just kind yeah. of getting into race. I'm leaning okay. a little bit more towards a cleric. Okay. Mostly because of the pendants that they are wearing. Like that could have like some type oh, of significance yeah. for them. That could, yeah. That, yeah, it could be how they draw their divine energy. They also, yeah, they give me, they kind of give me magic vibes too. Like maybe the pendant is magical or something. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. holds some sort of. Yeah, definitely holds some sort of power. Yeah, and that's definitely cleric with the... Because they have their... Again, their religious symbol. Okay. Yeah, so that that's what kind of drew me to that line of thinking. Yeah. But like a, a merfolk 
kind of cleric. Yeah. That's kind of why I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, I can see it. Can still crack some heads, but can also heal ya. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's move you up to cleric. Alright. Let's see who's next on the chopping block here. Ichigo Porky! Okay. It's a little piggy! 34, yep. 34. And I typed in L again. Oh. Um. Alright, 34, 34. Hmm. Where are you thinking? Ichigo Porky. Maybe... Oh man, they give me like magical girl vibes. Absolutely. So maybe... Uh... Maybe... Oh... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a sorcerer? I was thinking sorcerer. We could do druid as well. I feel like if we, but yeah, no, actually, hmm. Yeah, let me look at the lists. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hi, Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. Welcome on in. Yeah, let's look at their profile. Let's see if we can get another another stronger vibe from them. She's not just, she's a strawberry pig. Okay. So cute. I, I think we gotta go druid. I think we gotta go druid because it's more nature-esque. Druid? Yeah. Okay. Just because it's, it's a <laughs> strawberry and a pig. It's. No, yeah, I can see it. All right. So, all righty. Let's move you up to druid. I sorry, I think we're putting like all the cute characters in the druid area. I I personally love druids. I think <laughs> I think druids are super cool and super cute. I agree. And okay, I gotta scroll down. Alright, next is Araxis. Ooh. Let me go. Okay. I've definitely seen them around before. Where keep doing well. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna hmm. say. What do you think? This is where I'm like torn between like a fighter and okay. a monk. But yeah, that... I was thinking fighter. Yeah, it's like. Cause they hmm. they have that confidence. They got that confidence. And... They got the swagger. But you know what? Let's. Revolutionary Bartender. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Browse a she he. A bartender. Escaping from dystopia. Okay. Hmm. So... Maybe not a fighter, then. Yeah, maybe not a fighter. Maybe... Hmm... Maybe... Maybe a... I can see Cleric. Uh, I can't really see Cleric. Okay. I'm... I'm thinking, like, a maybe a fun twist of a monk? Oh! Like, we're okay. either monk or barbarian, oddly. <laughs> I'm not really thinking barbarian. Okay, I'm thinking monk then. Yeah, I think I think monk is the greatest fit. I, I would agree. Let's... Let's go with monk then. Okay. Next on the list? Ah, okay, okay, this one. I, I, I got a vibe for them. 
Oh. Ooh, I like the tail. And the I, scythe. I really like the tail. I really like the scythe. And I am leaning on horn. this one for a paladin. Paladin? Paladin. Oh, yeah, I can... Yeah, with yeah. a... Yeah, a death paladin. Oh. Very much kind of like the Grim Reaper, like a, a paladin of yeah for like the Raven Queen or even a Ooh. Tor. Oh yeah, I can see it. But yeah, I'm definitely getting more of a paladin kind of vibe from them. The armor, the scythe, and it's just something about the look as well. Even though it's more like paladin, yeah. Oath of Death. I could just see that. That's just what screams to me. Especially if you look at that left hand right here. That's like a skeleton hand. It's a cybernetic skeleton hand. Oh, yeah. Dang. That's cool. Like, that is dope. Ooh. But again, okay. I just love the color scheme on this. I Again, I love the neon green. I really, oh, really do. Like, again, for me, like, this neon green always makes me think of, like, cyberpunk. Yeah. So, cyberpunk, the horn. Again, yeah. I think we finally got ourselves a paladin. <laughs> Yay! Alright, now you're right there. Soon the whole team will be assembled. Uh, we just have three empty classes, which I have a, a, a I think we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get there. Okay. Yeah, that's a very cool design. It is a really, really cool design. I love it. All right. Next is Shot Aspire. Let me go ahead and put in the time code. Oh, oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Which class is Percy? Uh, Percy is actually, actually technically a fighter. Really? Yes. Hmm. Uh, Parsifal Frederick Saint von Musikowski Durolo III is a fighter with the Gunslinger subclass. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe fighter? And for me, I'm actually thinking of a rogue. Oh, no, I can see that. Like, I'm seeing thinking, a rogue with a gun. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking either rogue or maybe fighter. Yeah, yeah okay, no, I can... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I'm, say... I'm getting I'm both. either a rogue or... No, yeah, definitely rogue. I'm leaning more towards rogue. Just because, again, that confidence is like, all right, I got a gun. You better give me your money. Yeah. Or give me your money. Like, I could just easily see her walking into a bank going, Relax, remain calm. Everything will go swimmingly as long as you follow my instructions. If you follow that, nobody gets shot. All right, let's go on. Yeah, even in the second picture. <laughs> no, yeah. This one? It looks like, yeah. Like an escape. It looks like, yeah, exactly. So, yes, we definitely got to go rogue on this one. Definitely rogue vibes. Alright, now we just have wizard and a barbarian to find. Alright. So, next is moon dancer. Okay, let me put in your time Whoa. code. The neon! <laughs> the neon! It's so pretty! Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Hit reply. Wow. Yeah, like, these guys are just amazing at color schemes. Yes, uh, I really do like the color schemes. Honestly, for me, the eye, the blue eye is just so captivating. It really draws you yeah, in. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow! Do they have two tails? I think it's one tail that just ca Is it two tails? I don't know. They got two tails and a wing, and some wings. That's cool. Okay. Hmm. For me, I'm thinking maybe... Hmm. 
I'm actually getting... Hmm. I'm actually getting rogue vibes from this guy too. Okay, I can see a bit of rogue. I'm, I'm also getting like sorcerer as well. Huh. Like, I don't know why this came to mind, but I'm thinking just like kind of tough time on the streets and then all of a sudden his powers awaken and they're just not sure what exactly to do with it. They're just like, what's going on? This this never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that, but again, I also do like rogue. Can also, I can also kind of see artificer. Uh, maybe. I'm not really seeing much of like artificial, artificer like technology and that kind of stuff. They give me that, I don't know. <laughs> they give me the, like a science-y kind of vibe. Like they look super intelligent and like super smart. Like they know what they're doing and they, they know how to like create so, things. So then let's actually go with wizard then. Because wizard? wizard wizard is very much still the intelligence, but intelligence on magic, not magic in tech. Okay. Like, I could see him, like, on the side, like, he learned a spell or two to help kind of help them survive on the streets. Okay. Okay, he them, okay. But yeah, I could definitely see him doing that kind of stuff. Like, he learns magic to help him survive, and he wants to be able to pursue it, but getting into, like, a wizard academy was always something out of his price range. I could kind of see that kind of story. Yeah. Okay, so let's go wizard then. Okay. All right. So, next is tired as fox oh <laughs> <laughs> i love foxes yes it is your favorite animal it is oh it's like a sleepy fox Ooh, well, i love the tail they are called tired as fox so <laughs> true true but yeah, I do love oh, the blue color man. scheme. I honestly, I do like the hoodie. I do like the jacket with the little clouds, little stars. It's so pretty. Me too. And the little, the little ears at the top. Yes. They're so cute. They're adorable. They're so cute. They're so cute. Hmm. All right. Let's let's look at profile to get a better even vibe from them. Sleep okay. deprived gamer who values pixel over rest. Any advice or help is loved. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. hmm. I'm thinking maybe, maybe either druid or cleric. I'm thinking actually wizard. <laughs> really? <laughs> because wizards, you're up late studying. Wizard or artificer, just because you're up late studying and you're always sleep deprived. <laughs> Okay, I can see that. I could also see druid, but I feel, again, I feel like we do druid for anybody that looks slightly like an animal. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you gotta remember, like, there are animal races inside Dungeons and Dragons. That is true. Okay, I can see wizard. Like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm leaning more towards wizard, like, up late studying, trying to do a fun funky spell. And they're just so tired. Yeah, they're just tired from all that studying and hard work they're putting in. Yeah, so they're they're actually a very hard worker. They're very hard, which is why they are tired as fox. Yes. <laughs> so one more wizard. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> An Among Us. Very, very sus guy. Very sus. I think the sus people go, I think he... He's a rogue. More specific... He's a rogue. Actually, I was going to say, if anything, he's a familiar. Oh, like a familiar <laughs> to a... To, to a, a wizard. Like, to a wizard, wizard. to a spellcaster of some sort, but is a familiar nonetheless. A familiar to an artificer, actually. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. 
But if this was a normal being in it with an actual class, yes, it's gotta be rogue because they they sus. They very sus. They be super sus. They be venting they all the, the time. Yes, they are all the sus combined. They're imposters. They are. They're very sussy. Yes, indeed. So, gotta throw in the rogue there. Alright. Next one. Ronin Arclight. Let me do your. Perhaps a fighter. I'm getting fighter vibe. Yeah. Got, got the muscles, got the six pack, got the. He's pecs. even got the, the gloves, like the fighting gloves. Yep. Got the fighting gloves. He's just like, all right, let me get my main weapon of choice. And we'll just go yeah. to town. He's got that confidence, too. Yep, he's got the confidence vibe. <clears throat> yeah. The Choker's definitely an, fighter. Definitely fighter, and the Choker's a nice touch. Yeah. Plus, the harness is there to so they can hold whatever weapon they want. So true, true. So definitely fighter, Ronan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Monk. Monk. Hi. Hi. Welcome on in. Okay, I'm probably gonna butcher the name here. Zircono. Zirconic? <laughs> Zirconic? 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 <laughs> Zirconic? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna nickname you Zir for right now. Okay. Zir. Alright, so we said it's like fighter. Zir. Perfect. Okay. We're good with it. <laughs> Alright, but welcome on in. Okay. So now we are moving on to Varsin Abaddon. Oh. Okay, let me first off put wow. in the time wow. code. It's like a... What? Wow. Oh, I love the patterns. Love the pattern. I do love it. It's almost like it's like overheating vent, but mostly I do love the hair oh, yeah. on how it just sparkles in his gradient. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I like, it almost gives me, like, insect vibes. And, like, sorry, I love bugs. <laughs> yes, you do. Like, like it gives me ladybug vibes. And then it also gives me, like, I, I don't know the name of it, but, like, like maybe very colorful, like, glow-in-the-dark bugs. Like, maybe. like, moth vibes, almost. Or, like, beetle, like the iridescent beetles. Yeah, definitely the hair gives off that vibe. But as overall, I'm actually kind of getting a barbarian kind of vibe. Okay, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Just because the weapon also as well, they're carrying a big, giant club. Oh, true, true, true. And I don't know about you, but he kind of gives me himbo vibes. Definitely, definitely himbo Just, vibes. Just a little bit. And I could actually see when he rages, these lights like go, like they flash like fire. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Timbo equals bard. Barbarian. Not bard. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Definitely berserker, yeah. Just goes reckless attack, 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 attack. I could just definitely see that. Yeah. And I didn't even see the the giant weapon at first. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a couple of seconds to see it too. But yeah, the club, the I think even these were just venting up would be really cool. Yeah. And I could just see him like as soon as he gets enraged, just dashing over and smacking you into next week. Yep. So yeah. And with that. We have one in every class! Oh, yay! <laughs> okay. So now we are moving on to the next one. 
which I kind of. So first off, let's go with uh, this Cayman Rider. Let me go ahead and put in your time code. Ooh. For ten. Ain't seen a druid. Uh, you know, I don't see where you get that from. I'm seeing more of an artificer. Huh. I'm seeing more artificer because they are quite literally building themselves a superhero suit. <laughs> okay, that is true. <laughs> because, sorry, I, I know a little bit about the Cayman Rider. It's basically kind of like the Power Rangers kind of thing. Oh. Okay, then yeah. Yeah, so armor and artificer, absolutely. But no, I do love the design. Definitely Cayman Rider is like a sheep Cayman Rider. Like, ooh, yeah. Actually, I could see like, I could see Artificer multi-class with a cleric or paladin. Oh, multi-class with a paladin. Oh, yeah. Because if you look on here, it's got like the symbol of the sheep. Yeah. So actually, okay, I might be leaning more towards paladin now. <laughs> paladin? Paladin, because it could be like their oath to their deity, and in order to summon the super suit, they gotta pledge their oath even higher. <laughs> I don't know. I would say. I mean, we can stick with artificer. I do. I do like paladin though, but usually, I don't know. I see paladins with like having a sword. Uh, they don't necessarily need a sword for main thing with paladins is yes okay sword is kind of cool with it but again that for for them their weapon could be the suit so yeah probably again artificer with with like a multi-class into paladin like they could have started off as a paladin and then went into artificing okay yeah i can yeah i can see that Alright, so let's move you to Artificer. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, this one's gonna be a little funky. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. I'm just gonna full screen it's it real not quick. Mute? Yeah, because it's, it's a little animatic. Oh, wow. Wow, it's a yep. Hive Queen. Yep, this is yours. Welcome on in. Okay, so now we actually have this person in chat. Oh, hey. Let me quickly time code it for you real quick, just just to be safe. Whoa, so. that's a cool design. Uh, I really do like the design. It's really cool. Like, again, I do love, like, yeah, the Hive Mind, the... The brain. The, yeah, brain spec. The brain in one respect is kind of gross, but really cool at the same time. <laughs> oh, it's Zoan. really cool though. Zoan, Zoan. Oh, did we get the Zoan? I, or Zoan? I thought we did. Anyway, here is the tier list. I will slowly to the goal. slowly scroll it's through. It's not super gross. It's pretty cool. It's it's really cool. Like it's not super gross. It's it's interesting. Yeah. Again, brains by themselves are gross, but the way this is designed is not. It makes yeah, it it's really very, cool. Yeah, very very cool. Very creative. Very creative in the way it's all done. Ten percent unsettling. Ah, <laughs> how can how can they be gross with a face like that? It's crossness. Uh, I'm not sure if we got to it quite yet. Oh wait, crow's nest. I think we, I think we did. I think that was the last one we did. Oh, was it? I think that was, yeah. The, the, the. Was it the? Was Paladin? it the Cayman Rider? The, the artificer.
And yes, we're kind of stalling. Yep, okay, it's Kamen Rider. Yeah, we said Artificer. Yeah. We said Artificer. <laughs> Just because of the Super Suits, like Artificer Paladin kind of level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got you! <laughs> we got you! Berserk. Yep. Oh, he tinkers. So okay, perfect! Yeah. Artificer fits perfectly then. Yep, right there. Right on the nose. Alright, so Melly, what are you thinking of for this? <laughs> Definitely Warlock. <laughs> I was leaning Warlock too. Welcome yeah? To oh, but thank you so much for the follow! Thank you so much for the follow, Zoe. Arigato! Arigato gozaimasu! So, yes, I, I think it's Warlock. Yeah, definitely Warlock. With the Mind Flare Patron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That or or sorcerer where their lineage did come through a mind flare. Oh wow, that's cool. So yeah, those are the Very... two I'm leaning on. Very interesting. There is a sorcerer. Well, yep, sorcerer, sorcerer mind, mind class. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is one of the minds. So you know, what? I think sorcerer would be a better fit because the fact that this incorporates into your physicality. I think would be True. a good way to go about it. Okay. So yeah, def let's do Sorcerer then. Okay. Uh, let's just... Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Next... The is... thighs, though. The thighs, yeah. You and your thighs, Danny! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and do this one. Zero one. Oh, one. Uh, let's do eight. Okay. All right, so this one I'm leaning towards a oh, fighter. Have fun playing D and D. Yeah, have a have a blast. Have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, thank you for stopping by so much. <laughs> True, true. You do have a point there. Yes, because thighs, thighs save lives. I'm just saying. Anyway, I digress. Apparently. I digress nonetheless. So, <laughs> Katsuro. Katsuro. I'm thinking he fighter. With the fighter? Specific, yep, specific subclass of swashbuckler. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Because I'm getting kind of more of a pirate sort of vibe from that. I am. I think it's the I think it's the uh, jacket or like the. It's the jacket and the button-up shirt. And the belt too. And the belt, yeah. Just the outfit. It's the outfit. <laughs> yeah. The entire I outfit. I can definitely is... see like a One Piece character. Actually, he kind of also reminds me of Howl. Oh yeah. No, I can definitely see it. But yeah, definitely... But definitely leaning more towards the pirate vibe. So that... Wait, so that falls under the... Under the fighter, specifically the swashbucklers. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Because he's also kind of that cool... Cool, confident temperament as well. Yeah. Okay, and I believe this is the last one. Oh, wow. And let me go ahead and put the time code. There one, two, three, I'll do 15. Okay. Ooh, I'm seeing some magic there. I'm seeing some magic. I'm seeing some confidence. <laughs> some magic confidence. And Danny's like barbarian. <laughs> okay, I can see that too. I can see. It. I, I think it's the himbo vibe, to be honest. Okay, okay. How about how about like a like half barbarian? Like he's a half he could be multi class. Yeah, like half barbarian, and maybe maybe wizard. 
No, 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 no. I'm thinking maybe a sorcerer barbarian. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Danny, sorry. For some reason, it didn't trigger it here. Oh, no. But here, I'll see if I can just play the sound file. Give me a minute. No, I don't want that app open. <laughs> oh, you want this one? Let's go to... It's okay, I can do the sound. <laughs> yep, Nelly can do it real quick. <laughs> You're cute. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so are you, baby. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I it's not, we don't hate you, it's just being mean. It is being Come mean. Come on, Twitch. Uh, Why you be so mean? One sec, let me see if I can... I'm gonna quickly test the redeem real quick. Because I want to make sure these redeems are going through. I want to make sure these redeems are... As I am here myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, okay. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I mean, it is kind of a new thing that we're testing out. Yeah. It's part of the growing pains of being affiliated. Uh, yeah. Sorry. We're... Yeah, let's quickly... So, okay, we're getting the himbo vibe, so we're thinking a bit of a barbarian kind of sorcerer. Yeah. Because the magic... You're cute. He's like... Oh, there it is! Uh, I had to go to the website, I played it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the magic, the muscles... It's like, uh... It's like Mashal. <laughs> <laughs> Except the for anime. he can actually use magic. <laughs> true, true. And he looks a lot buffer. Yes, yes he does. And we're gonna... Just so you guys are aware, we have an ad break coming up here in about 10 seconds. Just so everybody's aware. Oh, it's actually aware. on right now. <laughs> oh, it's on right now? Okay. Oh, it's in progress. It ends in three seconds. It says it ends in 15 seconds for me. Uh, for me, it says ad break ended. So hopefully you guys are all back. <laughs> ad breaks are weird. Ad breaks are very weird. That might be why it didn't play it. So let me try it one more can. One more time. Huh. Maybe it takes a while? Yeah, it shouldn't Hi. take... Shouldn't take a while. Welcome back. Yeah, you know, I think... I think it, I have an idea what it might be. What? I think it might just be conflicting. Uh, it's something I'm going to have to check after stream, but... Yep. For right now, if I see them, if you try to drop them in, I will do it by hand. By doing this. You're cute. There we go. <laughs> So for now, for those specific ones, I will do them by hand. Alright, so on to our Barbarian. He's, yeah, Barbarian multi-class or Sorcerer. To where it's like his magic is innate. It is, it comes from him. He knows what he's doing. Is that, or actually maybe even a Paladin. Oh. Because Paladins are big, they're buff, they're ripped. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. And they can use magic. Ye. But yeah, usually when we think paladins, we also think of heavy plate armor. So I'm thinking we just have an interesting barbarian. Yes, very, very interesting. Interesting. Okay. So with that, we have our first tier list completed. Yay! Huzzah! It is all done, so... And we got every- we got all the classes! We got at least one in Yay! every single class. So now, Meli, where would we put ourselves? Ooh, good question. Uh, me? Probably a druid. <laughs> yeah, definitely druid for Meli. And probably Yay. me... Cleric or Paladin? Oh, yeah, or a Cleric. I can see that. Can I be both, though? Like, can I be half and half? Uh, Druids can still heal. 
Oh, true, true, true. Druids are healers too. Okay. They're not super well known for it, but yeah. But yeah, Danny saying Melly is a cleric. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking. Uh, actually, technically cleric. <laughs> Me or yeah, you? You, because if you think about it, I technically am a divine being, and I fell into your life. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Not saying you worship me or anything, but I could be gu having you give. I totally do. It is I who simp for you. <laughs> I simp for you too. All right, so let's have you be cleric, and I could lean more towards paladin. <laughs> I'm not trying to start a cult. <laughs> it's not a cult. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's 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 love. It's still giving me cult vibes. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you can appreciate me. Don't worship me. <laughs> Yeah, not a, a cult. cult. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch this over to kind of a just chatting screen real quick. Okay. So I will go ahead and download this and we'll be posting it. Or an arc light. Not at all! What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a cult. So I'll go it's ahead and. Up. Yeah, I'm switching it over to just the chatting part of it. It's a hottie and a bard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the hottie class. Well, technically, okay, if we're technically for trying to do Ezra as a D&D class, it would be a fallen asimer. Asimer? Yep, fallen asimer. What's an asimer? They're basically an angel. They're an angel class. Angel race. Whoa. That's what. And we are oh, not yeah. there yet. We are not there yet. We're getting there, though. We still have a hill to climb here. There's still 300. Something like 300. 300 in a month. Good luck. If we get there, yes, I will sing peaches. If not, I do have other things to do. It could happen. You never know. You never know. But I highly doubt it. Are you practicing your singing there, babe? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> you better, because it's gonna happen! It's like this, the like chances of being killed by your cats are slim, but never zero. That's what this exactly. is. Exactly. It's just it's super Never slim. zero. It's just super slim. <laughs> Let's see about that. I don't know. I struggle even with getting a hundred a month. And don't still a worry. Deal. If it happens, it'll happen. <laughs> but yes, maybe Bard. I think in Bard could be accurate for me. Fallen a simmer Bard. <laughs> well, you are an idol. Yes, that, that was kind of the goal. You doubt in our faith towards you. You're not going. <laughs> I don't know. You're slowly turning into one. <laughs> <laughs> not a cult. Just a uh, just a friendly group. I'll get a little too friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm your wife, so I have an excuse. Yes, you have the perfect excuse. The perfect alibi. I'm going to form the wife cult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, I think that's how polygamy got started. <laughs> oh. Never mind. <laughs> the internet being a little... 
got the picture downloaded. I'm gonna try to upload it to Twitch here in a sec. Wait, which picture? Uh, of the tier list. Oh, okay. Uh, you you can download it, and then once it's all done, you can upload it. So, post. Um, just wait. Hold on. Ooh, wait. I'm gonna try something. Not that one. Look, there's no punch here, okay? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yes. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. I don't know. That's so weird. One sec, okay, let me let me try one thing with I'll re hit the redeem, let me for this one, I think I know what the problem is. Twitch is being a big fat butt. Okay, one second. Try this. Oh, actually, that. There. It's not Twitch. It's uh, it's other things. Uh. Welcome to the Legion. Oh, th thank you, Shaw Aspire, for the follow. Thank you so much. So happy you're able to join in. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, maybe it's... Welcome to the Legion. Welcome on in, Ronin Arclight! Thank you so <laughs> much for the follow! <laughs> thank you! Thank you so much. Again, thank you guys for... Again, thank you for all the follows. Let's see if I can actually get this fixed real quick, okay? So, let's hey, see. Hey, I have, I have an idea. Uh, how about once you get to 100 on Twitch, you sing Peaches? No. <laughs> 10 seconds of Peaches? Nope. <laughs> 30 seconds! Nope! <laughs> okay, one second, let me... Beaches has gotta be earned, okay? Hey, that is a good way to earn... stuff. Yeah! Let's get the... We, I already set the goal here. Can't be moving it here. Okay, well, how about once you get to 100 on here, you have to sing a, a different song. Uh, how about we save the singing for some other time? How about you have to do a dance move? Yeah, I'll totally do a dance move because y'all can't see it. And I'll record it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There we go. Smooth move activated. Wait, what does it even do? It's a snap that goes nice. <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm gonna test one more. If this one works. Hmm. I think. Yeah. I think blurp. Blurp is. Because Blurp is the one for the, that specific reading. I think that one's not one that's not working. Oh, Blurp's being weird? Yeah, Blurp's <clears throat> being weird. So let me see if... Because uh, I have an idea what it might be that one. Oh, silly Blurp. Okay, yeah, it is linked to Twitch. Totally, let's do it! Uh oh. What? What's Chad and Craig do? <laughs> you know what? It may be on the Insta the cosplay Instagram, okay? Ooh. In Discord. Yep, should yeah. be in Discord. It should be also. Uh, I do have it highlighted on my Twitter, but. Uh... 
Clear overlay. Hey yo! Hi Rebecca, thank you for the lurk. What's your question, my dude? Welcome to the Legion. Welcome on in, Rebecca. Thank you so much for the follow. Arigato! Where is gonna be the snuggle stream? Aroge. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, first. Well, first off, Ezra... Rogue. Yes, makes sense. That <laughs> 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 aspires. First. <laughs> First, Ezra needs to practice snuggling more. I think I snuggle well enough. You just did not say please. I did it too. No, you did it. Not in that instance. Okay. Yes, my lady. A thing, my lady. Why, of course, my lady. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta snuggle more. I think we snuggle plenty. <laughs> Not enough! Because you're insatiable! It's never enough! Snuggling is a lifetime commitment. You're cute! There we go, I think I got it working now. Oh, I didn't even hear it. Uh, did you guys hear it? Because I heard on my end. Okay, yep, Danny heard oh. it. We That's so weird. Maybe it maybe it glitched on mine or something. Eh, maybe. Yeah, I just had to refresh the uh the setting for the overlay. Oh. Rumbler. Bum bum bum. I don't know, I think that's Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. And let me open up in one more tab so I can tag everybody who joined in on this. Oh yeah, wait! Do you guys like horchata? So actually, <laughs> Danny, I had an idea for a comic with Melly. Oh, yeah. Where it's like Melly out doing her cottage core stuff, like chopping wood, basically plowing the field, getting all worked up and sweaty, and Ezra's just there on the porch, enjoying the view. The blood <laughs> trickling down the nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Smelly for the win! Hehe. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. Yep, this is just going to take me a minute. Well, specifically for Melly. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you should be helping me. Oh, I can, I can do both. <laughs> but we have to work together. You work together, babe. That doesn't mean I can't enjoy the view, too. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take turns. We do take turns. I was just on my break. What? 
break. <laughs> the break to stop and watch the view. <laughs> <laughs> Turns. Yeah, Mel Mel Wait. can take all the turns. <laughs> like the the working turns or the relaxing yeah. turns? The working turn. No! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> I will help you too. We gotta take turns. Take turns. We'll take turns. I just went inside to get us both a nice cold glass of lemonade. Oh, that's nice. For yourself? I got one for you too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's fair, that's a fair. Is it? Yep. I agree, Danny. 100%. <laughs> Watch helping yourself! <laughs> oh, I know. Do you want to play that? Do you want to play the question game again? Which question game? Ah, uh, you know, the one with the cards? Uh, I am busy typing all this out. Oh, okay. What about after? After, I don't know. I think some people want us to end the stream so they can go back and see where did this. Uh, okay, true, true. <laughs> I didn't think about that. So as soon as I get this post done, uh, we will end the stream there. But while we're on typing everybody's ads on Twitter. Anything you guys would like to ask us or talk about? Yeah, any questions? Anything interesting? Any requests besides pizzas? I just think okay. <laughs> I don't know. Am I really Ken enough, though? I um, maybe, yeah. <laughs> you're as you're as as rough. You're as rough, okay? You're as rough enough. You're as rough enough. <laughs> Although, that, that's... I swear, that Barbie movie was, in one respect, like a fever dream. It was very... Especially the dance scene. The dance battle. That that was the fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> it was very interesting. Always adorable. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. -ha. That was my pet frog. Well, you did voice a frog. Yeah, a frog. With a frog. Alrighty. Happy good dinner. All right. All right. I'm checking my posture and keeping <laughs> myself good. Thank you for the posture check, though. Where I'm popping my back more and more. Wait. 
Hey. I spell it right. And just kind of copy and paste. Melly Beef Tuba says, Hum, give me some of that nice juice sweetness, Hum, yes. <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> Did it work? It worked. Danny's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, she knew exactly how it sounded. That's why I think she did it. Hear it. Because <laughs> I think you need to be watching the stream for that. I am, though. <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. <laughs> like, I think that's going to be my favorite to redeem. <laughs> I didn't even spell all of that right. <laughs> but it still got most of it right. <laughs> and, Did it um, even do the hmm part? Not the hmm. It doesn't, oh, for some reason, it doesn't do the home. <laughs> I wish I could have heard it. <laughs> well, luckily, Baby can listen to it after stream. True. All right. I had literally tagged everybody who was part of it. It has now been posted. Awesome. So... Again, I just want to, again, say it, tell everybody, thank you all so much for coming into the stream. Thank you, everybody, so much for the follows. Thank you for all the support. Again, we are just truly <laughs> grateful, and we had a blast doing this. So, yeah. With that, we're going to give you guys the rest of your night. And for those of you who are not able to catch us live, you will be able to watch it in the past broadcast. So the timestamps, you can just go look for it. But again, guys, thank you so much uh, for streaming this week. There isn't going to be as much because of the holiday, but we will be streaming on Saturday, uh, probably around the same time, around 7 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yas, give me some of that nice, juicy sweetness. <laughs> and so until we see each other again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys!